All right, so a little behind the scenes of our live streaming set up this morning. This is for uh, for Harvard, for Harvard, one of their uh, their organizations. Two camera setup. Uh, first camera, Canon XA55 using SDI out, and uh, we've just got the SDI power from that outlet. SDI is taped across and just running to a converter where it converts back to HDMI. Second camera, Canon EOS R, 24 to 70 lens, Ty is balancing it out. That's our wide shot. This one is a mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable coming out of there. And then uh, behind the scenes over here, We've got our setup. So our audio mixer, we've got an audio technician with a bunch of channels of wireless microphones. Um, there's a podium mic up front and then a whole bunch of handhelds for Q&A. Streaming, so we've got our Atemini Extreme and our computer where we can load in our graphics. We're streaming to Zoom Webinar. Our multi-view monitor, this is a SeaTech 21 and a half inch monitor. It's built into the case, it's really nice. We're doing a couple program records just so we have some backups. So the first one is to a Samsung drive. Second one is to a Shogun, just HDMI out. And then the third one is being split off to this HyperDeck down here to record to SD cards. This custom rack unit has three SDI to HDMI converters. I turn one off since we're not using it. SDI distribution, we're not using that today either. But the web presenter, we are using this. So we're sending our program feed into here using SDI, but we're injecting mix minus audio using an XLR cable. And that web presenter is going to feed to a Zoom laptop here. This is how we're bringing in our virtual presenters. So they see the live show from the SDI, but they only hear a separate XLR audio feed that our audio guy is sending to them. So they don't hear themselves speaking, but they hear everything else happening in the room. Second ATEM, this is what's controlling what is displayed on the projector, which isn't down just yet, and the TV screen allows us to split off a couple things. So you can see these one by four splitters. Um, we are splitting input one, which is our Zoom computer. It's not plugged in just yet, it'll be right over there. And we're splitting off the slides, which are all the way up front sitting on the podium. And that way over here, we can choose to display either the PowerPoint slides or the Zoom guest that's called in on the projector and the TV up at the front of the room. So our inputs are input one is our Zoom guest, two is our wide shot, three is our close up, and four is the slides. Um, we do have a super source that we can build out, so we made some custom macros. Uh, one is set to bring our lower third up on screen that's using the downstream gear, but two, macro two, gives us this boxed image where it's the person speaking here live in person with their slides, and three gives us a double box of a person speaking here in person and the Zoom guest in case they're talking back and forth. So that was just a macro that was set up here. We've got our two graphics in the media pool, and then we built out some custom macros for lower third, super source, picture in picture. So that's number two. So that's that one. And then our third one is super source double box. So when I hit three on the macro keypad, it gives me our double box. And then one final thing that we did was on occasion when our Zoom, uh, I'm sorry, when our second ATEM needs to show that super source on the projector up front so that people can see both the slides and the person that's zoomed in, uh, we're feeding a split of the program out from this guy back into this ATEM so we can take it live to that front screen up there if at all necessary. And that is input number three. So you can see it up front. So I can change between first one is slide, second one's gonna be Zoom guest, third one is input three, which is our, that's our program, or our live shot, just being looped back into here. 
So if I were to take this super source live, and I'm on three here, they will also see that in the room. So the whole point of two switchers, one is controlling the live show going to Zoom webinar here. Second one is just focused on controlling what's going on up front there. And that's a, uh, a brief overview of our setup. One little thing back here, we're using an audio interface. So our Zoom computer can inject his own audio and he can talk to the Zoom guest without the live stream hearing it. So this is his audio being sent out over Zoom to the Zoom guest that is presenting. It doesn't return back to us. The feed that comes back to us is just the Zoom guest speaking, which is awesome because we can inject remote presenters into the room here. And um, the only other cable run we've got is uh, to the front, the PowerPoint computer is fiber. Um, so this fiber has two channels on it and our converters are kind of tucked away in the cable mess down here. Um, so this yellow cable goes up here and we have two fiber to HDMI converters. One is to send the program feed all the way up to there. And the second one is to send us the PowerPoint feed all the way back to us. And we just hide it along this back wall. It's just tucked away here. And we run it all the way up. You can see it comes out right there. And then we hide it inside through the drawer. And it's all just tucked away. The converters are tucked in back here. You can kind of see. So this is an HDMI out from the PowerPoint computer into the fiber converter, converts to fiber, sends it all the way back to us. And then alternatively, because there's two channels, one's going to us, one's going from us, the second one that comes up here splits off to an HDMI cable that we're running down this way to the TV. So that's what lets us send two signals two different ways. And that's our setup for this live stream.